Janine Pirro was on C-SPAN and during her appearance on the show, a caller wanted to share her frustration at the notion of gun control. Let's hear what Teresa from Tennessee has to say. Being a prosecutor, um, I feel that the Democrats are attacking only white people's guns and I'm not being racist, but what I'm saying is we legally obtain our guns. We go to buy our firearms, we fill out background checks. No one is saying one word about taking the guns out of the hands of the gang members in Chicago, Baltimore, Philadelphia. I mean, to us, it feels like an attack just on our white community because we do the right thing. And just because the blacks in these communities vote Democrat, it's never mentioned. The, the 50 people being shot on weekends by blacks and innocent blacks being shot, and Democrats say nothing about that. Look, I think one of the mo one of the biggest criminal justice issues in this country, and I have talked about it as a DA and as a judge, is black on black crime, which unfortunately doesn't get the attention that it should. And Chicago is a classic example of that. So um, other than that, I don't want to talk about race as it relates to guns. Yeah, you don't want to talk about race as it relates to guns because the vast majority of mass shootings have been committed by young white men. So the fact that this woman, Teresa, says that, oh, we white people do the right thing. What do you mean the right thing? Do you mean the right thing like the shooting in El Paso, yeah. Texas that was committed by a young white man whose motive was uh, to make a statement against immigrants? Mm -hmm. who put out a racist anti-immigrant manifesto right before he opened fire and killed 22 people. Are those the white people you're referring to who do the right thing? And by the way, when have Democrats ever, ever said, we want to take guns away from white people, but black people can keep them? Yeah. First of all, when have, when have Democrats said, we want to take guns away, period? No, there has been an effort for common sense gun legislation, okay? Robust background checks where you close the loopholes. That's not taking guns away, that's ensuring that the gang members that Teresa is so worried about don't get their hands on guns, right? So that's one of the things you wanna do. Uh, an assault weapons ban, that's not banning all guns. Uh, you know, Maybe rethinking high capacity magazines, that's not banning all guns. Teresa is a moron and it's, it's tough because you can't Reason with stupid. No, you She's can't. stupid. That's what she is. I know conservative women get really up in arms when I call them stupid, but Teresa's stupid. Yes. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, really, really it's, stupid. It's also, you know, uh, coming from a criminal justice background and knowing that the vast majority of crimes, shootings, murders, they're intraracial, meaning that people of the same race, this is kind of just how it works for people to isolate. Oh, let's talk about black on black. It just you Let's know talk about oh, white on white. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's it's a complete and total red herring, and also it's a way to continue to perpetuate the stereotype that blacks are dangerous and violent, and they need to be controlled. We are following the rules; they're the ones who are breaking the rules, and it just it's unfortunate because this is a larger problem. And as Anna has pointed out, the vast majority of these mass shootings are committed by white males who are angry at women or the system in some way, and they're taking it out on innocent lives yeah. who tend to be of a range of races yeah. and we're all dying because of it. And that is a big problem no matter what race is you know, in the equation. Hey, maybe we are talking about uh, not taking black people's guns away because black people uh, are not the ones who have all the AR-15s yeah. generally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like let's, if we're talking about taking away AR-15s and these high capacity mass mm -hmm. shooting uh, uh, ammunition guns, which are mostly owned by white people, then yes, let's talk about this. You know, and it, and it is amazing because in that jumbled long rant that made absolutely no sense, she yeah. even, I mean, it was like a mix mashup of right wing talking points, yeah. right? That. It had absolutely no logic or reason behind it. But she mentioned Chicago because Chicago is one of those buzzwords. Mm -hmm. But she mentioned Chicago in the context of they want to take white people's guns away, but they want gang members like the gang members in Chicago to have guns. Except Chicago has banned the very weapons that she's up in arms about, mm -hmm. right? So Chicago is not an island, you need robust comprehensive uh, gun control. You need to really rethink uh, what we're gonna do on a federal level. Because again, Chicago's not an island. So if you have restrictions in Chicago, that's not gonna stop someone from Chicago uh, to going somewhere else and getting guns somewhere else where there are even more laxed gun laws. 
Anyway, again, I just feel like Teresa's dumb. I mean, I just love that. I just love that Teresa's like all white people get guns legally and all black people get guns illegally after setting up like I'm not racist, but yep. Teresa, you're stupid. Yeah, I mean, when someone prefers prefaces what they're about to say with I'm not racist, but, but oh god. <laughs> you know it's coming.